as a man, how does it feel to know that the only reason you're successful is based on the talent of Myron? That is a crazy glaze. That is an insane glaze. And today we got one of the alpha male gets humiliated on his own show. And it was a picture of one of the dudes from Fresh and Fitch, which whichever one is the dark skinned one. I don't fresh fit. I couldn't tell you. You already know the vibes though. One curse, three push ups. I have an animation channel and a gaming channel. Let's get this shit stuff. So Walter no from Fresh and Fit has been getting clowned on a lot during the podcast. Walter, um, which one does that make him though? By callers, guests, even his own producer. And Myron will rarely come to his defense anymore, you know, because he used to. These are the people that were looking weird. My fault. These are the people that y'all looking up to. Defend him all the time, but now not as much. I think because there's some tension between them and they're probably just getting sick of each other at this point. So now Myron just lets Walter fight his own battles, which obviously doesn't go very well. Like recently someone called in and started roasting Walter for basically riding Myron's coattails. And right when Myron realizes where the calls go. They're riding each other's coattails. They're both equally goofy. What are we talking? If anything, they're riding the coattails of the women that they bring on this show. You can see he's like, oh, here we go again. And he just goes off mic and lets Walter try to handle it himself, which results in him pretty much proving the caller's point because he has no response and he just keeps laughing and saying random shit. And he's probably waiting for Myron to step in and help him. Yeah, Fresh, I wanted to know, right, as a man, how does it feel to know that the only reason you're successful is based on the talent of Myron? That is a crazy glaze. That is an insane glaze. The only reason these men are famous is because they both bought headphones, microphones, went to Miami, and brought toxic women on a podcast to dunk on them. That's, I can't name one thing that this dude does that this dude also doesn't do. They're both equally corny. Huh? How's the feel? Yeah, how does, that, how does it feel to know that if it wasn't because you met Myron, you would still be working at Chick-fil-A or whatever it is you used to do? What was my last job? Uh, your last job? I don't know, man. I thought, one time I heard you say something about Chick-fil-A, but I don't know, something. Something that wasn't as successful as what you now. That's what it was. The money you make now is 100% based on the intelligence and the... Yo, pop it out. Pop it out. Talent of Myron Gaines, not yours. What's the show called? It's called Fresh and Fit. Okay. Just wondering. Yeah, but can you answer my question? I mean, you're kind of saying like random stuff. Can you answer my question? What's the goal here, my friend? Well, the goal is because I wanted an answer to it, but it's also kind of crazy to me that after everything Myron has done for you, he's pretty much, he's made you, basically, he's basically made you rich. Did he start the podcast or something? Am I missing something? Did they not start it together? I, I'm not tapped in with these dudes at all. Bitch. Mike, he's actually helped the show. Because right now, it, it really just sounds like he's back flipping, hitting splits. He's he's doing twirls on it. Yeah. By the way, if you didn't know. You said your views helps the show? 100%. How does you, going, contra going contrary to the things that Myron says on Twitter, and attacking his friends and disproving of his actions, how does that help the show? Well, you're smart enough to do the research. How does arguing with my Let me ask you this, bro. Uh, what is me giving you an answer going to help you with today? Okay, I'm not going to lie. He is like, me personally, dang. I would be a tad more defensive. I mean, no, it's just, I'm just. I Bro's ice skating on it. How do you even do that? <laughs> Y'all are inventing. <laughs> Someone's going to say he's bicycling on it. Ice skating on it is great. Bro can stack 69 donuts. Oh, my it's God. It's like you've never really answered for any of these things. Myron has never confronted you, at least not you know, publicly. I don't hear the callers confronting you about it. So I'm like, well, I, I want to hear your answer to these questions. You know what I'm saying? Bro is wrestling on it. There's fishing on it. Oh, dang, that's a curse. Like, you know, you know what the audience thinks about you. Let me get it straight. You know what the audience thinks about you. Let me get it straight. You know the audience believes that you. Am I missing some piece of information? Bring to the show. Yeah, so I'm surprised they even took this call because Walter was just getting roasted. And this is why he needs Myron to step in and defend him because Myron's better at defending Walter than Walter is at defending himself. But even when Myron gives Walter some credit for the success of the show, it's crazy. He's still like, listen, I know Walter has some flaws. And instead of Myron saying, I know he doesn't go to the gym or he doesn't work on himself as much as he should, Myron says his flaws are he stutters and he's black. That's what Myron says about his co-host. Say all the shit that you guys want to say about Fresh. Look, I get it. He stutters and he's black. But at the end of the day, bro, um, he's been... And he's black is a flaw? Multi-millionaires, by the way. They're, they're multi-millionaires, by the way. Like...
It's I, I don't know who I was having a conversation with, but it's so funny how these people can be rich and famous off of being role model men, alpha males, when in reality, it doesn't get more emotional, corny, and loserish than these two people right here. It's actually insane. They get paid to pretend to be what men think being real men are, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like any actual real man alpha male or whatever you want to call it would watch this and be like oh these n is corny as hell that's two curses that's two curses I, but i just didn't know how to i didn't know how to explain that emotion without cursing it's been an instrumental part of keeping fresh and fit afloat despite the cancelization <laughs> yeah he's black <laughs> what since demonetizations etc so uh he does a lot of things behind the scenes man to keep the show going you know so it's fine man. we would have been canceled by now <laughs> Fuzzer for fresh, man. We've been going everywhere. <laughs> and it seems like Walter definitely is more concerned about the show being canceled or losing money or being demonetized than Myron. But maybe it's because Walter knows this is all he has. But you can tell he at least tries to hold Myron back from saying stuff that could affect their business. Because Myron just wants to say whatever he wants and be as controversial as he wants. But Walter seems to care more about them complying with the platform's rules so they don't get banned or demonetized. Because I'm sure they can't afford much more of that at this point. So... Yeah, no. At least Walter knows Myron needs to chill a little bit with some of the controversial topics because it definitely is not helping their business. But also, Walter does a lot of stupid shit that affects their business too, like him knocking up that escort. Obviously, that was a terrible look, you know, because that exposed him as a massive hypocrite and basically a simp. Like for the host of a Red Pill podcast to fall in love with a 304, introduce her to his mom, buy her expensive jewelry. Was she on his show? Did she take... If you took her on your show and then introduced her to your mom right after, that would be crazy. Jewelry, and then accidentally get her pregnant. That's just embarrassing as hell. And the caller that I was playing earlier, he brings this up to Walter and mentions how Walter gets played by girls. And of course, Walter has nothing to say and he just laughs at it. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, <sighs> the whole situation with that girl, the, the, the Chinese girl, these are things that happen. You know what I'm saying? These are things you've done. You know what I'm saying? Girls come on the show, they disrespect you on the show, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't even say nothing. Myron got to back you up. Myron got to help you out. He got to save you. Grown man, by the you way. You know what I'm saying? You a grown man, bro. Fight your own battles, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be the man that you telling us to be, bro. Like, what kind of an example are you setting? I can actually agree with what bro is saying. I do feel like he's saying it to the wrong people. Like, you should not look to fresh and fit to find out what being a man is. But I, I can agree with the sentiment. It is extremely contradictory to the tone of the show. Right? And you over <laughs> here getting punked out by girls, bro. Like, what's that? What is that? On your own show? What is that? <laughs> huh? That is not, not a real laugh, bro. It's not funny, bro. It's, it's not, not funny. funny. What you laughing about, bro? It's funny to me. You think I have to answer to you about what I do. I really don't. Oh, my God. Sick. Yeah, so it's getting rough for him now. I mean, yeah, you're the guest on the yeah, show. Okay. We'll roast him for yeah. being a simp. But yeah. you know what the first thing you did as the simp du jour? Where are they finding these corn? Oh, my. Never mind. I think that's the way it's got to go. How do you feel about that simp du jour? <laughs> you could not pay me to be in this room, bro. You could not pay me to want to step in this room, bro. <laughs> It just means the sip of the day. The point I was trying to make was that, like, in that scenario of her sip du jour. Now listen, let me tell you something. No, he's the sip du jour, but I appreciate him for being it. Let me tell you why. That's why I don't want him to think that it's a it's a diss. So they will say this, but we will have a man like you or me sometimes or you sometimes. No, you keep saying me. No, listen to what I'm saying. That's why I'm bringing things. I'm yeah. really good at conversation. I'm gonna stand. Things, I just, no, what I'm saying. I bring the camera. It's all of us. It's yeah. all of us. And now it seems like Myron is basically just like, yeah, that's who Fresh is. I don't think he's gonna change it at this point. Like he's kind of just giving up on him. And it seems like they both might kind of be over each other, which I've been talking a lot about over on Patreon. I've been covering their downfall. So make sure you check that out. But it seems like Myron wants to take the podcast in a different direction than Walter, or just start his own. Like he did announce a new one a couple months ago with him, Nick Fuentes, and Sneeko. But I doubt that. Myron, Nick Fuentes, and S I could throw up. I could throw up. Ew! Ew, bro! Ew! Bro! Nasty! That'll ever come to fruition, but I think Myron is looking for something new without Fresh. Like, also, he makes podcast appearances by himself now, and he admits him and Walter disagree on a lot, but he also says it's kind of good for the show. So, uh... I don't, I don't know if you understand how business works and how uh, creators work, companies work, but whatever I do, right, is for a reason. And listen, 
You may not like what I do. You may not think it's manly. But to be quite frank, frank with you, bro, your opinion of me, I really don't yeah. care about. So I'll just say it's not about my opinion. You actually yeah. making it about me. It's not about me. No, no, no. About you, bro. Because, because, like, it's not because, about me, bro. I'm because, just confronting you on the things you've done, but it's not about me. Like what? what you talking about? It's not about me, bro. Okay, well, what did I do? Huh? Am I muted? Oh, look, man. I Because I, this is the thing, bro. You guys always call in. You guys want to criticize Fresh and everything else like that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just have y'all talking. I was obviously talking with the team behind the scenes. Bro, if you don't like Fresh, man, you don't like Fresh. I mean, I don't really know what to say anymore at this point. Uh, there's like an army of y'all that just dislike Fresh. Um, <laughs> it, it is what it is, man. Like, there's really not nothing's going to change. It's like, bro, me and him have very different viewpoints. I know that you dislike the fact that he's not willing to talk about the JQ and other things like I am or whatever. But we have different views, man. And I think that's uh, having different views makes things uh, interesting sometimes. We're not an echo chamber. We're not an echo chamber, you know? Yeah, so my most definitely are an echo chamber. I'm not going to Even lie. says he doesn't think Walter will change, which wouldn't be as big of a deal if he wasn't the host of a Red Pill self-improvement podcast. Like recently, another guest of theirs started clowning on him for not going to the gym, which I think Myron's been trying to get him to go for years. But I'm sure at this point, he's pretty much given up, even though you can definitely tell he enjoys hearing somebody else roast Walter for not going. I remember this guy fresh and, uh, fresh and fit. And I said, yo, bro, why are you never in the gym? <laughs> I said, because I'm, 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 I'm at a gym and this guy be walking by with his dog. I said, yo, bro. <laughs> Why don't you work out? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you are fresh and fit, and you not in the gym every day is crazy. <laughs> yeah, he did start. He did start. But well, hold on, hold on. And I told you, okay, one is fresh, one is fit, right? Okay. Ah, uh, but you can still be, you you can still be both at the same time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Listen, he gave me good advice. I'm eating healthier. I feel better. And I was and I was on him every day about it. Yeah, he pause. was. Pause. Big pause. Yeah, so he just can't catch a break. Like, even his own producer started roasting him recently. This was hilarious. Dang, he's gonna cut! They had on some girl, and Walter's like, do I know you from somewhere? You look really familiar. And she's like, no, you don't know me because you never text me back. And at first, the whole place is in disbelief. They're like, wait, what did you just say? Who didn't text you back? Walter, are you serious? And she's like, yeah, he never responded. And then Walter's producer's like, damn, that's insulting. Like, Walter, you're an ugly dude. For you not to text her back is pretty bad. Don't text me back. How can you even say how do you know me if you don't text me back? Oh, wait, huh? wait, dang. What? Huh? Okay, wait. Dang. Oh, Dang. And now my number has changed. <laughs> oh! Dang. Wait, wait, nah, nah. Okay, wait, 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 Yo, fresh you so, wait, so question. Fresh you not be watching. In the past, so who didn't text you back, though? Fresh didn't text me back, so we didn't have nothing, right? You see how it works? You don't text somebody back. Chris, I was a model girl, right? Chris, 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 and some guy didn't text me back. I'll be offended. You don't understand. Dang. Fresh, Dang. Fresh, fresh, because you're all I mean, Chris, you need, you need to fight back. Fight back, bro, please. That was a girl, right? And I'm gonna have a little flush. Take a seat back. Please. Meet him when he had the Lambo, the McLaren, the G-Wag. Oh, and then. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Back then, you fat bitches, bro. You did, though. Fresh. Yeah, so he even his own employer is saying he's not getting the job. Yeah, so even his employee can't help himself from making fun of him. But honestly, Walter probably didn't mind this because it makes him look like less of a simp. And maybe that's why he brought it up, you know, so he can be like, see, I'm not that desperate. I didn't respond to her. But his producer's right. It is pretty embarrassing if Fresh isn't responding to you. But let me know what you guys think. And Dang. Dang, bro. Hey, bro. I hope it get better for him, bro. Golly. That is insane, bro. All right. I cut three times. So that's nine. All right. That's nine. Let's do it, bro. Hold up. Wait, wanna be alpha male gets humiliated on his own show. Hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.